at the rhythm of the sun. Well, I was wide awake until the dawn upon her face, and the echoes of our song as it hummed along. So stay with me, stay with me. You are my missing pieces. Hey, Ernie. Good hey, morning. Bert. Hey, buddy. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm still recovering. A little bit of a head cold, but I got my meds. I got my coffee and about to take on Zhou Shen. So I am in a happy place. Yes. By the way, if you're new here, my name actually isn't Bert. It is Richard. And over yonder is Johnny. Hello, everyone. I'm using that word arguably too much as of late. Is what it, word? Is it, yonder is is that like an old man thing am i like am i transitioning i don't know what it is but it's something to be concerned about for I sure I, that, I think i said that to my daughter like she was looking for something like oh it's it's over yonder in the family room it's just it's feeling yeah maybe i'm just sick yeah. I, you don't have to cut it off but i would definitely try to to wean off of it if you could <laughs> Just, I'm gonna use it now, more now. <laughs> now you're not just representing you; you're representing both of us. So, <laughs> I'm dragging you into old age, my friend. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello, Thronelys. Hello from around the world. We have hey, people everybody. in many countries. Can you guys, real quick, just in the chat, let us know what country you're in? Hey, Zach is here, formerly known as Christine. Actually, he was never known as Christine. <laughs> not in his world, but in our world, he was. <laughs> That's right. Glad you made it. Our Zach. friend on Billy Billy. We Love have Zach. we have another friend here today. Very excited. We love friends. Her name is Sarah and she's here from the Zhou Shen. We keep calling her Zhao. It's Zhou. You know, this is the you know you're missing the perfect opportunity, right? For what? We have a, we have a new friend named Sarah. What Sarah, movie? Friend? <laughs> What's that movie? Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I what know. Is, what? Well, I got gotcha. you. Blue? Blue? blue what, what is it? Is that his name? Is, that's from Dark Crystal? No. No, what? What's that from? Labyrinth. Oh. Same. Same. Well, it's Jim Henson production. Okay. Sarah, friend? <laughs> I will do my best not to talk to her like that during the show. <laughs> it would be very demeaning on some level. Anyway, Sarah is here from the Shen North American Fan Club. And she and her team uh, with Alice and Charlotte, and I think there's another one she'll fill us in, hooked us up today. They created a just a kind of a map. So we have some interviews that we're going to learn a little bit more about Charlie mixed in with some set songs. And then we're going to kind of do an open request for a little bit, at least for a few songs. And then we're going to close off with the brand new song Mirage that was just released. So that's kind of the format for today. So don't bother putting in any requests at this time because they're just going to get lost. So wait until we let you guys know when and where. Now, some people got Labyrinth right away. Well done. From Malaysia and China, Australia. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, let's bring her oh, in. Yeah. Yes. Hold on. I have a button for that. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hey, Sarah. How are you? Hi, Richard. Hi, Johnny. It or is... Or Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> It's good that we're oh, making and... new friends. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and show. then you also you also got the labyrinth part right because I named myself Sarah when I watched the movie Labyrinth when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> no Are you way. serious? Yeah, that's so, amazing. Same wavelength. <laughs> you definitely belong on this channel, though. Ben, welcome, oh welcome. God. This is well, meant cheers. to be. You guys have your cat mug today. I don't. I no. have my my Disney German my my cat mugs. I have an S mug. S for, for Shirley. Shen. 
Sarah or Joshan. Of course. Yes, yes, that there, makes sense. I just, I don't know. I just have like a, a canoe, a lake one. I don't know. Nothing special. Yes. Mine's fun. My wife you bought me this one. What is that? It says Dosen. It's, her, she, it's his little banner thing that all his fans or Shimmy would have. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> and we okay, go cool. cheer for him, support him. No, Shen, Joe, Shen. We definitely yeah. support him. We just, and, and I think, was it Alice? Someone on, so who's who's a part of your team? Give us your background real quick as far as the North American fan club and, and what we're doing today. Yeah, sure. So North American fan club, what we do is we, you know, we have a channel. So we translate Charlie's English or songs into English. Um, and then as well as any shows or interviews, if we get to it, because <laughs> we have a small team. So we try to do all the songs first. But um, Alice is the one that introduces. She's from, you know, Billy Billy, the one who translates all your videos. Um, yes. The same as what, what Zach does. And then on our team, the leader, um, Laura, and also there's Cindy, there's Grace, there's, you know, um, a lot of, people on the production team that pr translates um, and edits and yep. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, that's, and I love yeah, that you yeah. do that amazing. because, and you know, we connected to Zach initially and then we found out about Alice and she's got like just hundreds of translations, which is just insane. It's a lot of yeah. work. And, and I'm hoping, do you have access to see the chat as well? Because I'm, I don't Actually, know if it's oh, yes. Kent, Cantonese or yep, Mandarin, it. but if you see, if you guys are writing anything that is, if you notice anything that's relevant for us to know or interact with, we want to take advantage of your presence if we can, because <laughs> yeah, we're please. limited to English. Yeah. So some of them are translating when they're typing in Chinese, they're translating what we're saying into Mandarin. So other people can understand what we're talking about. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. That's I know. Awesome. Yeah. So Tina Lee her she's the one that's translating right now <laughs> awesome well thank you appreciate yeah. that tina thank you so much yes so today we're gonna do like i said an interview you guys had taken i guess it was a large interview and you you, you made a condensed version we're gonna stop it a few times and then you're gonna set up what song we're about to to react to and mm -hmm. i believe that is the plan and yes. oh, what was i was gonna say what was the other thing i was gonna say Johnny, read my mind. What was it? <laughs> Use your power. I don't know. <laughs> if I could read your mind, <laughs> Richard. Well, surely this what is a waste is... of time. I should probably move on to what something else. That? I can't think of what I was going to say. Possibly. The interview, um, to have a little background, the interview is yes. the original length. It's about like 24, 23 minute long. So it's way too long for the show. So we condensed it into like all the golden nuggets. So then you guys could get to see Charlie as a, you know, 360 wholesome being inside out, not just a singer of who he is today, but you know, where he came from his childhood, even, you know, all the, the journey awesome. he's been through to Amazing. get to where he is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Amazing. it's quite a Definitely journey. Definitely been wanting to do that. And I do remember I what I was so going to say. It. And someone just sent us a coffee. Thank you very much. Um, and to, to let us know that that Charlie's actually in New York right now. So he's he's in our time zone. I guess he's yes. singing for is, is the UN. Is it some sort of event? Yeah. So he's here to attend the 15th um, Chinese Language Day celebration event. Um, and it is hosted by, I think, the Chinese Book Club. F U N. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So they put together this event and invited him over. So um, we're super proud of him. And yesterday, cool. um, a group of us, like from the North American fan club, we had this video to welcome him, and then we projected it at the Times Square, um, you know, in New York. And right. he, I guess, he heard about it or somewhat. He went there and he took a selfie with the big screen with his face on it. He's like, look who I, I met or, you know. <laughs> That's cool. So it's, yeah, it's really sweet of him. That's very, very He just cool. landed yesterday. Yeah. Um, could you let our viewers know too, if they're watching this live or in post that we will add subtitles, but because it's live, we can't process that until after the video is done. Can you let them know that for us? Sure. Um, so it's like a, 采访或者这个节目呢会有人翻译 
，如果需要我现场翻译的，可以讲一下，或者是有人在这个 chat 里面可以帮忙翻译一下。Oh, I love、so、it. Happy. I love that. <laughs> It's like you have a superpower. <laughs> It really does. It, I love it. I can be a translator. So <laughs> we're, we're easily amused, but yes, <laughs> that would be great. Also, and quick. Apparently, you're super popular too because we got the numbers of look at already within the first almost a thousand people watching. We should probably get to Charlie. That is why we're here. Real quick. Yes.、Uh, thank you for the super stickers,、um, Yo Sili. Uh, Crazy Pig and characters I can't pronounce, but we appreciate it greatly. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yes,、um, and also and,、uh, thank you to Sammy and uh, we uh, we Huang, I think,、yes. and Chris, of course, and Johnny. Yes,、cute. and please, for all you beautiful people out there, hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. Bong. Ding ding ding.、Yes. Oh, also, oh, you need the gong if today's. A perfect gong day. Where gone is it? Day? Okay, hold on. Hold Today's on. a perfect gong day. <laughs> I love this、All、gong.、Right. Sarah, Sarah, are you ready for this? I don't know if you are. You are. Okay. I'm ready. Also, be sure to check out the links below in the description, where you can click to buy us a coffee, help support this page, help us grow, and continue with amazing programs like we have today. You can also become a silver, gold, or diamond thronely, and you can also visit throga.com. Where you can learn more about singing and the seven dimensions of singing with our online vocal gym courses. We also have links in there for the Joe Shen North American. Uh, fan club and links to them on Billy Billy and YouTube and somewhere else. And if there's more to add, just let us know. And of course, we'll hook you guys up. We we love that you're here today. So without further ado, oh, wait, that looked exciting. Were you going to say something? Oh,、uh, yes. This is the Dawson <laughs> way of、uh, showing a heart. Ah, you know, do this, okay. He does this. Like it's that. It's a signature. His signature heart. You know、yes. why? You know why I think he does it that way? Because it feels like a hug when you do that. Ah, that's so <laughs> doesn't、sweet. it? It's it's like more of like a hug heart. Yes. <laughs> He's I like to pretend that we're friends, <laughs> even though we are friends. <laughs> Do I? I'm They're all、like... friends. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's I amazing. I can't believe you called that. That was so cool. <laughs> Okay, so I'm so you're gonna go off screen, Sarah. While we react, then we're gonna bring you on after. Okay, so you will be there, and if there's something you need to interrupt us with, please feel free to do so. And、right. so I'm gonna transition out here. Dun, 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 dun. This is gonna be an epic show today. Yes, epic. It will. I just need to find where to click, as per usual. Yes. And also, thank you so much, Betty and Sammy, again. Sammy, twice, hooking us up. Twice in ten minutes. All、Thank、right,、you. so I'm going to play. We're going to watch a couple minutes of this, and then we're going to stop, and then we're going to go into the first song. Here we go. 所有听你的歌的人都会觉得好像你唱着唱着就把自己唱进去了。你是想跟大家表达什么样的音乐？在这个让你有情绪波动的音乐，可以哭，可以笑。因为我在成为歌手之前。我自己也是个歌迷，我听到好听的歌，像春晚上面的歌，时间都去哪儿了？他会。I'm sorry. So I'm, I, I was trying to get the subtitles so Johnny was able to read them. So I, I finally got it fixed. Let me、yes. start from the beginning real quick. Sorry about that. 所有听你的歌的人都会觉得好像你唱着唱着就把自己唱进去了。你是想跟大家表达什么样的音乐？在这个让你有情绪波动的音乐，嗯，可以哭，可以笑，因为我在成为歌手之前。我自己也是个歌迷，我听到好听的歌，像春晚上面的歌，时间都去哪儿了？他会把你心里想说的话，用另外一种方式说出来，我就会感觉到幸福感。我会觉得，这个就是我作为听众，我听到这样的东西，我就会非常非常幸福。所以我就想成为这样一个可以给别人幸福，或者给别人力量的一个歌手。对于音乐追求，源于他的成长经历。一九九二年，周深出生在湖南邵阳一个偏远的小山村。为了生计，父母常年在外打工，他只能和比自己大五岁的姐姐相依为命。童年的记忆中，周深过着每年春节和父母团聚一次的生活。人会生长成你自己想象不到的样子
。嗯，是。现在回想你在一个人跟姐姐生活的时候，你会想到今天的自己吗？不可能，因为那个不是我们的生活。嗯、我们那个时候就只要吃饱饭就很开心、嗯。每天我们家的鸡，只要它愿意下蛋，我就会亲它一口。<笑>我们今天就有鸡蛋吃了，嗯、我们就可以哎，我那打开，然后你看炒一炒，我们切一半，给姐姐一人一半。我们今天有鸡蛋吃，哦、可是很厉害的。到时候去别朋友家玩儿，哇，你们家有客厅，你们家有凳子，这都是我，这都是我的童年。直到小学三年级，他被接到父母身边一起居住。因为嗓音清亮，周深被选入小学合唱队。音乐为性格内向的周深打开了一扇窗。然而，进入中学阶段，周围的男生相继变声，只有他的嗓音变化不明显，这一度让他感到自卑。他越来越不喜欢自己的声音，不敢在别人面前唱歌，甚至不敢大声说话。So I'm going to pause it here.、Uh, I have the right spot to pause, I believe. Do I have that right, Sarah? To eighteen. To eighteen? Yeah. So, real quick, I mean, this is. That background definitely explains some the some of the. Personality that that we're getting from him, just that 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 shyness, and just the the humbleness, right? When when you're when you、yeah. have nothing, your your gratitude and your grace and your appreciation, just you carry that through the rest of your life. And there's definitely something、mm -hmm. to to be said for that, and it, it shows in his art and and just how he presents himself.、Absolutely. And I can't imagine how difficult it would have been. In terms of his voice, not just, you know, changing expectedly. I I like your your、uh, your crown that you have, Sarah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Your Ken Ken Lam crown. Yes. Your Ken Lam crown. Thank you very much. <laughs>、um, Keep the crown coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Please. So, because I just you know I remember how difficult going through puberty was, just as a typical male and trying to. Force my like I'm speaking like this like try not to let my voice crack as much as possible. <laughs> It's just so easy to be picked on, you know, in in that、yeah. environment. And then if you love singing and music, and then it's like there, that transition that's expected isn't happening. Like you start questioning yourself and everything else, and、mm -hmm. in this you know in a unique、mm -hmm. way that that、uh, that just cultivated with him genetically and like his upbringing and everything else. We've talked about that a lot in the show. His We'll call it gift for singing is only partially genetic. It is the thousands of hours that he's put into cultivating his voice and experimenting and taking lessons and studying and just experimenting freely,、uh, even if it was just in the closet at home versus an on stage. That's what built Charlie that we have, along with his life experience. And I'm just, I always、mm -hmm. like to remind people of that because there's this. The idea that someone is born to sing. Now, now, philosophically, we might have that. You might be just hardwired to like you hear sound, you love it, it's in you kind of thing, right? But, but I argue that although some might have a predisposition to sing well, you're not born with it. Just like Johnny, you're six foot four. You're born to play basketball, right? So you have an advantage over me. But it,、mm -hmm. you still have to put in the work in order to play well, right? So yeah, I would add not、component. that much work to be better than you, but <laughs> God,、no. but I get your point. Yes, <laughs> you can just put the ball in. <laughs> my my dad was never around, so I he, I never learned how to catch or throw a ball. <laughs> but, <laughs> for for normal people, yes, I get what you're saying. <laughs> I have a point still. Thank you very much.、Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what's the first song we're, we're about to react to here? So okay, because now we just heard about the story of how he kind of got bullied, or he became very, you know,、um, like I guess、um, insecure, insecure. You know, in sense、yeah. where people laugh at him, his voice not changing, and still pretty high up here. And he said, "Hi, how are you?" <laughs>、um, but、um, the interview talked about how he started singing online. Where he's not showing his face, and because he loves singing, so this is a way for kind of like output for him to still 
make music, create music, and to enjoy what he loves, which is singing um, right. through the internet. And so this next song, um, well, this first song, I guess, <laughs> that we're going to watch is um, the song that made him, I guess, very popular online before he started showing his face. So his online like screen name was Kabu. Kabu le. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kabu le. Kabu le. Doshin. That's okay. his screen name. Yeah. So that's what people know him as Kabu. Awesome. And okay. So the song is "Let It Go," and he sang it in nine different languages. So of course he did. Very very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> How many yeah, languages do you know, then, Sarah? Huh? Do, do you know? uh, maybe like two and a half or three. That's it. But <laughs> well, it's I lo- three hundred and fifty percent more than us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know. So awesome. All right, here we go. I know so here, English. <laughs> English. Is that a thing? <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> okay, so yeah, here cap- it Ooh. is in nine languages. And when when was this performance? Do you know offhand? This is 2014. 2014. Oh, okay. This is a while ago. So 10 years ago. Okay. Wow. Okay. Mm. All right. Here we go. First song up. This is... Do you have anything to say? I got a couple things I want to throw in. Um, yeah, just just how miraculously his voice is even higher, <laughs> the, seemingly higher. To, tonally, it's higher. I don't know if range. Tonally, is, range totally, is yes. So he's a, he's what like twenty two at this point. Um, so he, he, he just sounds even younger. Like for like, sure. Actually, yeah, it's just. Go ahead, Sarah. Can I say okay. something? Okay. Yep. So this is actually last year. <laughs> This is not 10 years ago. Oh. The song, oh. <laughs> the song itself, sorry, I should explain this earlier, but the song itself that he's saying in the nine language, he performed it, uh, or, or he recorded it hmm. 10 years ago when he was, you know, um, sending it online, uploading it to Billy Billy the website. And then he okay. got very popular on Billy Billy with this song. And then this is the one we just watched this video is from his concert 
um, from last year, um, August 19, where he had the concert to thank his fans, where he okay. picked all the songs from his very first beginning, you know, kind of like songs leading people through his journey to where he is today. But that's one of the songs from that concert. So, Johnny, would <laughs> well, you like to retract your statement? Well, I would. <laughs> but I would like to say, knowing that new information, it's even more impressive because it does sound... He does sound he's, it's like youthful. Younger. Yeah. Yeah. He does sound somehow younger in that. Like his he's just almost like Zhao Shen on on helium just a little bit. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the weird, tone that's crazy, yeah. And I mean, and it could just be obviously, you know, that mic, this Maybe stadium, the recording this, the, this yeah, recording right. of it. But it does have just a little bit of a, a higher overtone, like the, almost like it's leaning more towards head voice frequency range versus chest voice throughout mm -hmm. the song. I, now, we wouldn't know this, obviously, but we're presuming from the comments today and the comments in the past, his pronunciation in each of the language is pretty spot on. Is it not? Is that, I mean, yeah, that I mean, that's what we've read. Are you asking me? Because I would say. <laughs> well, because yes. cause when you go from language to language, the vowel, sh it's not just the consonants that's more obvious, but the vowel shapes and, and how you sustain things are different. Now, I don't know what he's saying, but I could hear... It's like, oh, this is a different language. Oh, this is a different language because of the way he's shaping. It's not just like if I try to sing in Spanish or Russian or German, it's still going to be, oh, that's Richard trying not to speak, speak English. Like that's all you're going to hear. You're going to hear right. him attempt something. For him, I could hear this is this language, this language. So there's a distinction mm. there that I think he's executing really well. Mm. Mm -hmm. And one, one thing to know about this is... Um, as you know, he's saying nine different languages, and then on the actual prompter <clears throat> where he shows the lyrics for this performer, it actually shows the exact language. It's not like a spelling of how it sounds. In, so in he's Mandarin reading or it. He's like, reading the actual language itself, like Polish, French, it's like Italian, Japanese, like everything wow. is, is actual language, yeah. <laughs> That's wild. It is I wild, know. yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. and somebody reminded me on the chat that he can actually sing over 12 languages total as of now. Still counting. <laughs> what what in do you know his um uh, his fluency just in conversation? What what, what mm -hmm. does he know? Cuz obviously singing is a different thing than right. yeah, memorize. I don't I don't I don't know if he's fluent in all 12, maybe not, but at least he's saying songs different songs right so he's a familiarity with at least that so far mm. yeah that's crazy okay here we go let's finish the song <laughs> I want to say too, <clears throat> the languages are great. Um, the the trans because you have literal translations when you're going from English to, to another language. So, here's the storm that won't stop from today. Destiny belongs to me. Oh, where was it? There's a. Sorry, I'm trying to find it. No more perfect princess. I love that. And to let it go free to release. So as it gets translated into other languages, it's always interesting to see how that gets interpreted. And you have to reimagine it a little bit. Right, yeah. Knowing knowing the English version so well, as we both do, because you have kids and I have nieces, and we've seen this movie a thousand times. <laughs> yes. uh, but yeah, it's it's just an example of like, you know, when we when we get the translations for other songs, that it's not necessarily the intention of the person, you know, the original lyrics, you know, yeah. so it's like, we kind 
kind of have our hands set a little bit there. But I mean, as, as he's singing this, in this particular song, you can tell he's just having fun with it. So there's obviously yeah. a sense of growth and I mean, there's a connection there, but it's not like an in-depth thing so much as it is he's translating languages and doing all these crazy things, you know, on stage right. in that setting too is wild. Yeah, I um, think the tonal, the, the, the sort of illusion that he sounds younger, I think he's pushing his chest voice a little bit more in this song. There's something about this. In specific you know. range, it's he's right near the passaggio, which is that transition from chest voice to head voice, and it's his is more subtle than many singers a, as a whole. Mm-hmm. Like you don't hear him trip. Like typically, there would be a, let's see, so if someone was doing like a glissando, let's say I was sliding from here to here, let me turn this on. Eighty three to. Yeah, I know. I just played it. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you out there that don't know, it's an A3 going to an A4. Yeah, I'm going to do A flat just because you said that. <laughs> so if we go from E here, I can hear, or maybe you heard just a little transition between my chest voice and head voice. E yep. That was smoother that time, so it kind of slid. Mm-hmm. So typically during the passaggio, when someone's working on their voice, you're, you're going to hear a E. Where there's notes mm-hmm. being skipped, so for Charlie, we've heard him do that like really rarely. He might do like like a cry or a yodel. Um, I, I'm trying to remember an example of when he does that. I, and maybe we'll hear that later today. But generally speaking, when he's transitioning, it overlaps about an octave from chest voice to head voice, depending on volume, the tone, and the shape of the vowel, the formant. And he always has like this smooth transition. I never hear him go e like. There's never that break. There's more it's of like, seamless, yeah. yeah, more seamless and just a little bit smoother. And when, if he, if you do hear the transition, it's going to be maybe while he's performing in a way that is maybe, you know, breathing could be thrown off guard or he's emotionally caught up with something, but more than not, it's because that's just the tone he wanted. It's intentional. Yeah, yeah. Completely intentional. So we're going to switch back to uh, the interview Real quick, thank you, uh, Chang Ming Min G Crazy Pig again, um, and Cindy. And I'm so sorry, I can't pronounce. I don't know if Sarah, you're able to read the super chat names. I'm, I'm unable mm. to pronounce them. And I really wish I could. Uh, where are they? <laughs> are they just in the chat, or they're, they're probably buried in the chat at this point? <laughs> yeah, and they I jump. think I have a little lag on the chat itself. There is. is it maybe like thirty yeah, seconds me too. sometimes. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're on the subject. Also, thank you, Annie, and thank you, someone, <laughs> and nine two nine WSF, um, cyborg. Release. Yes. Don't uh, forget to put your name in when, when you. When coffees. you support the page, thank, I didn't mean to talk over it. We said Audrey. Um, that yeah, way we Audrey. know who you are. Okay, here we go. Let's watch yes. some more minutes of this interview here. In the middle Oh, I'm sorry. I have to set it so you can see the... There we go. Sorry about that. 高中周深开始在网络上不露脸唱歌，清凉动听的歌声受到不少网友的喜欢。二零一三年，周深高中毕业，在父母的建议下，他前往乌克兰学习牙医。Dentistry，这其实里面有个非常非常现实的问题，就
他决定寻找适合自己的老师学习唱歌。这 For those of you who don't know, um, there's there's nodules and polyps are a common、uh, thing that takes place when there's basically too much friction. So when the vocal folds are vibrating hundreds of times per second to create a pitch. What note is that, Johnny? A. <laughs> a. Good job. So the folds are vibrating 220 times per second for that pitch. So anytime we speak, the folds are kind of has this wave action as air comes underneath them, and that friction turns into heat. Heat turns into swelling. So it's called vocal fold edema. We all we all get that just from speaking or yelling, laughing, crying, singing. Of course, you know, on some level.、Mm -hmm. But if it's if there's an imbalance in your technique, or if you're not maintaining your instrument, whether it's hydration, lack of sleep, stress, or there's just too much friction taking place over time. Nodules can form, and if you think of that as kind of like the callus on your on your hand, or if you're a guitarist, you know, on your fingertips. So that callus is like it's a hardening on the edge of the folds, and so when they go to vibrate, you're going to get like weird little disturbances that disrupt the sound. A polyp is closely related. That think of that as more like a blister. So it's like a fluid-filled sac, and that that's a little bit trickier in terms of being able to predict. When and how it affects the voice, where nodules are more of a consistent nuisance, and that happens for any style—classical, rock, jazz, blues, country. It's just the nature of the instrument and how you use your voice. So, if you have immature nodules, which I'm sure he had,、um, at least this far in the story,、um, they can literally go away on its own through combination of rest, modification of vocal technique, and just taking care of the body. Um, and then sometimes they get so hard on one side, then it's going to start causing another problem on the other side, and then the voice is affected even worse.、Mm -hmm. So hydration is a, a major player with that as well. So I mean, that just goes back to your point of, I mean, he had to he had to work to get where he is now. I mean, it just wasn't yeah, always just not magical. I mean, he put、yeah. his time in. Yeah. He, well, I mean, he's magical, but that's different than the voice being <laughs>、yes. magical. There's a difference. Yes. 寻找适合自己的老师学习唱歌，这时他遇到了乌克兰著名男高音歌唱家维多辛斯基。所以，如果说生活其实不断的在为我们打开一扇门，可能乌克兰的那位老师，是他第一次帮你打开了人生音乐的门。我能这么说吗？嗯、我觉得他是帮我打开了有爷爷奶奶照顾的那那那个门，亲情的那个门。因为我的老师他当时。教我的时候就是七十多岁，就是也就是爷爷辈的，他就是用真心去对我，我就觉得哎，自己很幸运可以在这么一个机会，给了我一个弥补有爷爷照顾、有奶奶照顾的这样一个机会，所以我觉得自己只很幸运。这份温暖的关爱也滋润着周深的心。二零一四年，他鼓足勇气参加了国内的一档电视选秀节目，一首《欢颜》震惊了在场的所有人。Real quick, can you pause it?、Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up? Can you just point out the the quality of interview that we're seeing right now, compared to what we're used to, where we're from? It's like there's just so much more of a depth to it. I mean, they're talking about like you know how just just the you know like how life opens up and following the flow of life to you know to your as opposed to, to be yeah.、Doing. Who are you dating? What's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what's your cat's name? I mean, those are like fun things to know for a fan. But yeah, this this is obviously of greater value for sure. There's just an integrity there. Like <laughs> it's it's not just trash TV as we call it here. Yeah. No,、oh, this is great. Oh, this is this is great. Yeah. 但导师却坚决反对他演唱流行歌曲。因为老师唱了一辈子的歌剧，在他心中，他觉得。你就该站在歌剧的舞台上去唱，他觉得你唱流行，你不尊重艺术。哦、他是这样非常直接的， oh, no. 非常的直接，而且是很严肃。他就说的是，你唱的不是艺术，但是你有没有试图去解释为什么要这样做？没有哎，我没有去解释。一是不敢，二就是我心里清楚，我不可能能够说服老师去理解我，或者是去去认同我的选择。Very common conversations. Unfortunately, 登台演出伴随而来的还有种种质疑之声。那一句其实最那个的，他说：“哎，周深唱成这样，好听是好听，厉害听起来也很厉害，但他如果是个女生就很普通了。”我觉得这句这句话
我觉得在否定我在音乐上做的一切的努力啊，我觉得那一句是对我否定最深的。但是那种东西就是你去说服自己，也是没有用的。你就只有不停的去唱更多你喜欢的歌，或是更多可以惊艳大家、去惊讶大家的舞台。刚出道的两年，除被质疑。So I'm going to pause it here. We've mentioned this before with with Charlie. Is the idea that Trying to categorize him, and I can understand where people would be like, "Oh, it sounds like a girl," because it's because it doesn't fit into the preconceived box of a typical male voice. Then it must be this, like without without embracing the idea that there could be another box, <laughs> you know, entirely in it of itself. And that is what we hear today. And I just love that he、mm-hmm. didn't fall victim to that, you know. Advice or trapped the idea of like, oh, I have to force my voice here, or I have to sing it like this,、right. and and allowed himself to follow his heart, and that's a scary thing to do, especially publicly, and it, it speaks to his character greatly. I feel. Yeah. No. He, yeah. he. It seems like he's really connected to his own intuition. I mean, just his, just knowing what's working, what's not, and just following his heart, like kind of like they're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing.、Mm-hmm. So、yeah. Sarah, we're we're setting up another song, correct? Yeah. So leading up、um, from this part of the interview, why we selected this song for the next one to react is because this song it basically talks about what he went through. You know, he felt like he was an outcast, like you said. You know, his voice didn't really、mm-hmm. categorize in a specific, like you know, traditional box of、mm-hmm. what you know a guy or a tenor or a whatnot you know type of singer should be. Um, and then, so this song is called "This Is Me" from The Greatest Showman. I'm sure you guys know this song. Nice. Yes, yes. <laughs>、um, song. So, so a backstory about this song is um, um, so Charlie sings live on you know live stream every year on his birthday for his fans. Okay. So he continued to do that for many many years, and hopefully you guys can join his live stream too this year for his birthday,、yeah. September 29th. <laughs> But. Um, every year he will, for most of the years, he will sing the song on the birthday stream, live stream. This is me,、um, and then he said that the song is really giving him like, you know, strength and helps him to <clears throat>、um, have the courage. You know, like how the song talks about, you know, accepting yourself, your differences, and your uniqueness could be your greatest、um, weapon. You know, sometimes so.、Mm-hmm. I was almost listening to you. I was literally typing in my calendar, <laughs> Joshan's birthday on September twenty ninth. Richard, yes, add that in. Special、awesome. day for all of us. That's on a Sunday、yes. this year. Okay, cool. Nine two nine. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so awesome. No, that that's that makes total sense. So let's go into this. Oh, Bridget's in the chat. Hi, Bridget. Johnny, hey Bridget. Oh, which, which what? Do you want the sound of music one? Yes. She has her own theme music. Okay. Sarah needs her own song too. But she does. We'll get to that. that. <laughs>、uh, so labyrinth, obviously. So you got dance, magic, dance, dance, magic,、oh, yeah. dance. That's a fun one. You know, one. I'm, I'm not as familiar with labyrinth as I should be. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, sorry. I, I, I'm, not, I'm trying to process. I'll, I'll leave now. You shared. Okay. <laughs> not that important. <laughs> Please forgive. It kind of is. It kind of <laughs> is. <laughs> Our friendship is in is on the rocks right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say yonder. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. We both have our flaws. This is me. This is Charlie. Thank you, Fiona. Yes. And gray cat. Wow. Wow. 
you as you are, but I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for us, for we are glorious. The sharpest walls will calm me down. I'm gonna stand a block, gonna draw me down. I am brave. Wow. Yeah, I want to. I just want to piggyback off of what you said about not I categorizing them. Not smiling. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. You know, not not categorizing him, and like he's got his own box, you know. And the the comment that he was talking about is, you know, people being like, you know, if you were a woman, that he would just have a an average voice. It's like, but the thing no. is, he doesn't sound like a woman necessarily. He doesn't sound like the typical male. It's like he sounds like him. He's got his own separate thing, right? Which is just this conglomeration of, of of both and everything in between you know yeah. it's just it's just he sounds like him it, there's a there's vulnerability else that, sounds like that yeah. that males typically males typically sing with in let me rephrase this in the passaggio that transition i talked about earlier in, in between the registers that mixed voice is uh kind of a, a lay, layman's term for it that transition feels vulnerable. We respond to that. There's lots of singers that use that, men and women, but with men is typically immediately seen as like a vulnerable space, right? It's just more sensitive sounding. Mm -hmm. There's a quality that Charlie has from the lowest note to the highest note where that seems to exist. It's not just overlap, chest voice, head voice. It's in his chest voice. It's in his head voice, in his falsetto. There's a sensitivity that is just ever present in every mm -hmm. note he sings. And that's what yeah. I don't hear other people do. They have like pockets of space where that's present, but not his entire range. And you hear this yeah. this entire song. And then with what he yeah. went through, you know, knowing his challenges and, and how, you know, as, as a child, what he went through mixed in with just his own sensitivity and vulnerability with his voice to sing songs like this is just like yes you know it's like I know guitar, yes I know yeah oh it's amazing <laughs> and it's such a brilliant song too yeah and I want to hear a little Love bit it. of that ending there uh, leading into this breakdown one more time oh, oh, oh. Come down. I'm gonna 
I've said it now, come and draw me now. This is brave, this is bruised, this is who I'm meant to be, this is me. Also, I want to point out the the pronunciation is really, really good too. Yes. You know, I don't know yeah. where English falls on on you know his strengths as far as languages that he knows, but it's I mean, fantastic. He that. Yeah, yeah, just just the 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 formant, which is the sustained sound uh, versus the consonant, and his formants are fantastic. And there's like even with the the shape of like complicated uh, sounds like our and the wa and just some of the the tongue positions are very specific in in English or American English, right? And, and that mm -hmm. because you learn language by mimicking your surrounding. Um, so the my surrounding was only English, therefore it's the only thing my brain developed or that I spent time on, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really it shows his his skills for articulation, being able to you know control his lips, tongue, and jaw muscles, and just manipulate them in a way based on what he's hearing really well mm -hmm. absolutely yeah this song the video we just watched is um the billy billy they have their annual gala every year and so that was from 2020 billy billy's um annual gala okay yeah that was great okay so we're going to switch over back to the interview oh, and 2000 everybody oh. A lot of people are crying in the Almost. chat. <laughs> oh, it's six away. Mm. Oh, crying with oh, not, not from our 2000. I'm pretty sure it has to do with Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so let's go back to the interview. And then we'll, and then Sarah will bring you right back in after that to set up the next song. Cool. And we are going to take, I see there are some requests that came in too. We are going to have a section for some re requests as well. Just, just hold on until we get there, please. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Ooh, we need. Also, thank you all for the super chats. Yes, thank you. Greatly, greatly. Gang 而且当你把你的情绪通过麦克风表达出去的时候你看到下面观众的眼睛 uh, he expresses himself beautifully. Yeah, he's just so not pretentious too. Not pretentious showing his body. Every day, he goes to the same place. He's in the same place. He's in the same place. He's in the same place. 动画电影《大鱼海棠》的导演找到他，让他为电影《印象曲》《大鱼》录制小样。据总计划，把这个参考小样拿给某知名歌手听，以此来打动该歌手来演唱这首歌曲。
。接到任务后，周深用手机在被窝里完成了大鱼小样的录制。周深把录好的小样发给导演，导演听后赞不绝口，决定直接把这首歌交给周深来演唱。大鱼发布后，周深走红，之后越来越多的影视歌曲找他来演唱，他也成为各大综艺晚会以及歌唱节目的热门嘉宾。之前你很多时候不断的要想证明自己，你希望所有人认识一个会唱歌的周深，而现在你已经不用证明这些，会不会？不会，我觉得很多时候不是证明吧。而是，我想要去赢得下一个舞台，因为舞台真的很少的，给歌手的舞台真的没有那么多。我每一次上台，我心里的 O S 都会给自己说一句，就是你一定要唱好，一定要把自己在舞台上把自己逼到一个状态满值，因为只有这样了，你才可以有机会拥有下一个舞台。因为我知道，没有舞台的时候，生活是什么样的。啊。即使成为顶流歌手，周深依然像刚出道时保持着对舞台的热爱和敬畏。没有按照老师的希望选择歌剧，这让周深感到歉疚。然后就直到有一天，我再去上课时，老师又跟我说：“我后面还陆陆续续看了你很多的舞台的表演。”他说：“虽然我依然还是不觉得它是艺术，但是我觉得。”这样的表演，至于你来说，我看见你在舞台上是开心的，所以我觉得，艺不艺术那就去他的吧。<笑><笑>哦，真的。他说我看见你在舞台上去表达的时候，老师也会有被你触动的那一下。嗯。所以我觉得，我们的艺术不一定要一样，我们的艺术可以在中间有一段交集，就是我们一起上课的这段交集。但在后面，我相信你也可以带着我教你的东西去创造属于你的艺术。人们会把 So this is a conversation I have often with students and sometimes other teachers too. There's these if you're raised with your condition with the idea of like this is art, like opera is the only good singing,、mm -hmm. or this is you know this is the true way to play piano, or this is the only way to hold the paintbrush. Based on their belief systems and what worked for them, they sometimes lose sight of what came before that became the standard. You know that、right. became a standard because it resonated with many people at a certain time period that in in humanity that you know a certain like the rise of opera was around 500 years ago. But that's also because they had to project their voices over an orchestra without any technology. So it was very yeah, specific to... overtones and everything that was built on. And to break outside of that is scary. And and sometimes teachers, you know, teach with their tunnel vision, forgetting that oh, you can break the mold. You can create a new version of something. I hope there's a million Charlies a hundred years from now. You know, with, with You know, creating a new sound, a new instrument that can inspire other voices that don't hide.、Right. Yeah, it's like anything in this in the world. You, you have to evolve. You have to keep changing. You know, there's there's universities definitely in America. It's like、uh, music universities that they are still just in this mindset. It's all it's jazz and classical, and that's it. And they just turn a blind eye to it. Like there's a lot of different music that I mean. And if you want to try to make a living, it's like you have to. Like think outside of those too, you know. So yeah, yeah. I'm really glad that Charlie decides to not be restrained by what his teacher told told him. Like you should sing opera, and he kept trying to force himself to sing opera、Whoops. that way. Where'd you go, Sarah? But, oh, oh, there you are. I'm purple. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> But、um, you know, then he he wouldn't be who he is today.、Um, and then just leading to the next song. The song is called the、um, the flower bloomed, forgetting your sorrow, and this is、um, a song that he sang in twenty twenty two on Teachers Appreciation Appreciation Day, actually.、Mm. Um, mm. So there's a a lot of backstory of、um, about this song. So in twenty nineteen, his teacher actually passed away. 
while Zhou Shen was in、uh, Singapore for a like a charity concert.、Mm. So, but he was very sick at that time. He had really high fever. He was feeling really horrible. His voice was, you know, not doing really well. And when he got the phone call right before the performance that his teacher passed away, he forced himself to eat a lot of medicines and drink a lot of hot water just so his voice could just to come survive back to, the、um, next. To, Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was able to push himself through that concert, even with the high fever, just so because he wanted to do it for his teacher.、Wow. So he sang like ten songs at that charity con-、uh, concert,、um, and afterwards he went back to the hotel room and just bawled and bawled.、Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. I know.、Yeah. So, so every time he sings a song, he would tear up for that reason. So the song we're going to hear is it from that performance, the charity, or? It's not Sorry, from、I、that missed... charity,、oh, okay. but yeah, but that's the the backstory of like what happened.、Um, mm-hmm. But this song, it because the lyrics and everything, it talks about you're missing someone who passed, and so this reminds him of his teacher. Wow. Okay, that's beautiful. By the way, we twenty two thousand one hundred fifty people here. Hello, everyone.、Nice. We hadn't said hi already. Thank you, hey, everybody. <laughs> You're still a little shy from Johnny's. What did you say? Nineteen million was was your your goal. <laughs> that's, that's, little, that's our goal, everybody. We can do it if we just try just a、million. little harder. Yes, we can, you can do、through. it. We're so close.、Yes. <laughs> uh, also, I want to touch upon just just what he、yeah. said as far as、um, what motivates him to keep trying to strive for his best. It's knowing where he was, you know, like prior to this,、He's、and rooted in that, yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of you remember that movie Cinderella Man with Russell Crowe? It's kind of like a little vague reference. The boxing, the, the、right? boxing movie. Yeah, so it took place in the Great Depression, and like he had lost everything, the family had no money, and he got a second chance to to be a boxer, and he made it all the way back to the the finals. And he was in an interview, and the interviewer was like, "So what, what, what motivates you to to keep going?" He's like, "Milk, like buying milk. It's just like the essentials." That was. Yeah,、wow. it's just like it's that really probably like taking. I want to take care of my kids. I want to feed my kids, and that's what drove him. And that's like, you know, not to say that everybody has to come from like super humble beginnings to to have this, you know, to resonate with people. But th- it is special when somebody comes from nothing. It is, and and they and the, really and they do you know, so much more that, with it、place. as a result. That if they come、yeah. from that, they're more likely to connect with more people and make a positive, a greater. Impact on the world because it's not selfish. It's not just feeding the ego because they've already been to the other side. Yeah, yeah, incredible. Okay, so let's jump into the song. Here we go. Oh, and I did see in the super chat、uh, for Mirage. Yes, we are doing that. That's going to be our closer today.、Um, and I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what time it is. It's after nine. Sarah,、yeah. you got nowhere to go, right? <laughs> Did you take the day off? <laughs> oh yes, I mean it's only six a.m. here, so. <laughs> oh okay, yeah, we got time. It's we'll, oh, we'll it's six a.m. We'll、geez. get there eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up since four. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love oh, it. Oh god, that's、uh, that's just my nightmare, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very well. You're doing well. All for you. All for Dosen. <laughs> I love it. All right, here we go. Excellent. Shang Zi Kao, 买了花，穿过沿街红墙青瓦，夕阳慢慢亲吻着我的白发，推开旧木门回到家，把时光都蹲下。Sarah, real quick, is was this a studio recording and then the、uh, composite from different live performances, or because obviously there's, it's different performances combined. Do you know? Yeah, it's actually a live,、um, but because of the you know. YouTube issues, so we have、ah, to mix、okay. different. <laughs> so the audio is from a singular live performance, but we're seeing a combination. Of a couple.、Yeah. Okay. All right. Just wanted to clear you on that. Thank you. 
。我们苍老的时候，就回到小时候，才青梅永太娘，就你不许偷着喝。穿朴素的衣裳，牵着那衣袖，捡了小猫咪为藏狗。我们睡去的时候。像孩子无忧无愁，反正也很贪生，做着岁月如小偷。若记忆被偷走了，忘了我的爱，我会说，你好啊，这是给你的花，花的名字叫忘忧草。他说时光汹涌，如水上烟波。别走远了，一起回家。I know, me too. That was an example I said earlier. Da, 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 da. Ah. When he went there, he did the flip. So that was the, the uh, an intentional cry. More like of an intentional flip, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was like a, a like a, a stylistic choice versus oh, I need to get to the note. So I love that it's when he does it, it's always a choice. It's like here's where I want it for flavor, if you will, like an emotional connection or storytelling, and not just because that's the only way to get the note. I'm gonna back it up again. Yeah. Well, once, I mean, once again, his tone just. It, we've said this so many times. It just transports you. Teleportation. To, I was thinking the same yeah, thing. <laughs> it's I like you get like in a weird time capsule. But it's not. It's. It's not. But it's not time. Capsule. Yeah. It's just. Uh, just we're in another land. You know. It's, yeah, it's, and it's not even. This song isn't like the. It's not using. Mongolian instruments or traditional Chinese opera or any of those things that yeah, just it's not feels like a, traditional like a foreign Eastern land. Song, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, just his tone. It's just the way he skips notes. It's like skipping same... stones, you know? It's like... Mm. Oh, I was thinking the exact same thing. I love that. Yeah. That's oh, I love that song. That was powerful. I mean, just and and I don't know if you picked up the lyrics. I only picked up some, but just the the nostalgia and just the you know just connecting to everything. It's beautifully done. Wonderful, wonderful. In the strength too. The where was he on that? Yeah, can you go back to that part? Actually, I can. Um, yeah. Sorry, Sarah. We'll was... be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to look at you rather than Johnny all day. That's all. 
<laughs> well, likewise, Sarah. <laughs> uh, where, where were we? Hold on. I'm not sure where. I, I know the part, but I'm not sure where it's at. Yeah, love that. So strong there. Yeah. You know, Johnny, I asked you what note that was. So many of the chat said B4. Did they beat you? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Was that the the note held out? B. Um, Actually, I don't think it was. I don't remember. There was there were so many notes. Uh, There's a lot of notes. Da, 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 da. Like basically that range. <laughs> uh, G G to A flat. Whatever, Zach. I'm giving it to you. You're the one who called it. So you beat John. Did he, oh, one. I didn't. Even, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Damn you, Zach. <laughs> Actually, not really. I love you. I love Zach. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was great. That's a, just a, there's so many, you know, seeing some of the comments in our previous reactions and the chat here and the the emails we get and just you know, all the messages coming in. He is a vast repertoire. I, I mean, the number, it's not like, oh, here's the 40 songs we need to check off, right? I mean, this, with all of his stage performances, the covers he does, the different languages, I mean, it's just a, it's just a universe of material. No, he, and he's he, still so he, young, too. Yeah. Just you wait. Every just time you wait. We see him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's way <one> more. <laughs> We're Every time we see him, that. he comes with something new and different. Like that, that tone, that, that part of the song that we just heard there. I feel like we haven't even heard that tone yet. Like to that, I mean, we've heard him belt out. Specific degree, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, there, there's something unique about that particular part of the song. Amazing. Yeah, man. Okay, so we're gonna jump back to the interview. We're gonna finish off this interview. We got a few more minutes of this, and then Sarah will bring you back in for setting up the next song. Cool. Yes. Here we go. And real quick, just want to thank our sponsors. Um, not necessarily, not kind of sponsors. But- <laughs> Gosh, yeah, actually, um, we would we would rather interact with you and appreciate you than take on some like you know company sponsor of some kind. This is great. Yeah, thank you, Irene. Thank you, someone. Thank you. Uh, Jay By the Lee, way, thank you. When we say someone. thank you, someone, <laughs> it's because you didn't. They they might want to be anonymous, but if you type in your You're name right. when you leave it, then we know who it is. Uh, thank you, um, someone again. <laughs> Christy and and Jace C and uh, also somebody Zhao uh, Liu how to uh, how to buy a copy can't fin- find the feature Where oh it's it? a link in the description below so it's not it's not on the screen here like there's there's that I can't that is just promoting it basically so you can either type that in by buymeacoffee.com slash throw or there's a link down below also thank yes. you again to crazy pig and your super chat uh charlin me m i y u k a how do you say that sarah m i y u k a why M I Y U K A. Yes. Miyuka. Miyuka. Thank you. <laughs> not even. That's not even Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then. It's many sorry, Japanese. I'm, I, that's all right. I'm just kidding. You have a much better shot at getting it right than me, so I'm throwing them all at you. Um, and also. All right. Oh, and and so C H U A N. Chon. Chon. Uh huh. Oh, I got that right. Yep. And G. Thank yep. you. 
very, very much. Yes. Okay. And we apologize for for interrupting the show to do this, but it really, it, we just want to make sure people know that we. I know this you can so get much. sometimes annoying, and we want to get to Charlie, obviously, but we, it is, yes, what he said. Here we very go. much appreciate you. <laughs> yes. Ah, Wow, 什么什么叫好听或者是厉害的舞台 最原始的样子，因为我现在我听到了太多，无论是评论下面啊，还是很多时候我的歌迷朋友们，他们给我写的信，他们都会说自己很无助，甚至不知道方向该往哪儿去。我都很想跟他们说，就是大家觉得我现
pretty much ended his own life. Um, but this song talks about like even when you're in a dark place, even when you're in a very difficult situation, um, you feel so weak and so small, like you know, um, like you couldn't really do much, even though you want to. Um, but you still continue to hold on to hope, and you continue to run after the light, and um, yeah. Love it. Mm. Awesome. And when was this uh, performed? Do you know offhand? This was 2021. Okay. Um, this song also won, like, uh, you know how Kiss FM has, like, top 40? So they have, like, equivalent to that um, in, like, a ERC, Chinese Top 10 radio program. So okay. this mm. song okay. also won top 10 in that year, too. All right. Very cool. And here we go. Talking. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I, I, am, I, am I delayed? No, yeah, I saw your delayed. mouth moving, but I didn't hear any sound, so I got confused. Oh. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm back. I'm with the, I'm with the show. I'm with the show. <laughs> Does, does Joe Shen have a lullaby album? <laughs> I can just hear... <laughs> you lullaby know what I'm saying? Album. <laughs> like, I can hear him sing... Like, I don't know what... Like, you know the, the, the show uh, Young Sheldon in Big Bang? I don't know if you're familiar with that, Sarah. Oh, yeah. But, like, yeah, can you just that. picture him singing... Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, little kitty, purr, purr. I could okay. listen to Joe sing that for like an hour on loop. <laughs> it's just, he has just, in this song, he's got this just gentleness, this vulnerability, the breathiness. It's just, everything feels fragile, but controlled. It's just his balance that we hear over and over again. I just never tire mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, maybe Rubia. Rubia, have you heard of that song before? No. No. That's, uh, Joe sends he's saying in English, so... Rubia is a very lullaby type ah, okay. of song. Mm -hmm. Well, I want a whole very album of lullabies. I'm just throwing that out there. Charlie, <laughs> if you get this message, that is my request. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's ding, continue ding with the theory. Purr, purr, purr. How small is that? 
Chinese opera style, right? This is interesting, yeah. In, in a conversation way. I know, but it's still him. Can anyone well, light that, up a room like Charlie? <laughs> like no, when he smiles. <laughs> now that, that performance kind of takes takes me back to like the first couple of videos that we saw of him where he was doing sort of the, the multiple vocal personalities where it's just like who <laughs> what <laughs> different is happening? styles taking place. It's crazy. Like it's like different singers, it sounds like. I mean, he just changes his voice so like seamlessly kind of takes just, yes. takes Sorry, I gotta pull it's up. Me. Uh, it is it's you. me. I so, I sound like me. I can always tell what I sound like. But <laughs> well done. Yeah. Well done, you. Well done. Bravo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, friends. <laughs> Friend? Friend. Okay. So. <laughs> Sarah, that's sorry. my favorite thing about this show. <laughs> dance magic, dance. I got David Bowie in my head. Um, right. I love David Bowie. <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a little poll here. Uh, we're, so mm -hmm. we're going to close today's show with Mirage, but Sarah hooked us up with a few suggestions um, for you guys to pick from for what us to react to next. So let me get this going. You two talk yes, about yourselves. While you're doing that, I would like to thank, uh, again, our supporters. Thank you, Jace. Oh, I might have thanked them already. Uh, Rose, Gray Cat again, and Zhao, and Pepio Chen. Pepio. Pepio. So, uh, Sarah, where are you, where are you right now? L.A. I mean, I know you're on the, you're on you're in L.A. Okay. Nice. How long <laughs> you been there? Oh, we'll do that 24. again. Twenty-four. <laughs> L.A. Woohoo! Oh, look at that. <laughs> She's fancy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. How long you been there? Twenty-four years. Twenty-four years. Okay. Yeah, but you're only like twenty-two. Yeah. How is that possible? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> As I grow I that. older, I become younger. <laughs> That's a good formula. The Benjamin Button approach. Yes. Um, okay, so the songs but... I'm putting up right now, real quick, uh, it's going to be mm -hmm. uh, One Earth, One Spring, Brilliant Adventurer, Loving You in My Humble Way, and When Longing Calls. So there's the poll if you guys want to vote on one of those. Let, okay, let me say that in Chinese. Yes, go ahead. Okay, oh, she's um, gonna do it again, Richard. 和光, She's doing it again. 和光同春, <laughs> 
唱听哪一首？第一个就是《和光同存》，然后《璀璨冒险人》，我也渺小爱你。嗯、um, ，What's the last one？ 呃<笑>、uh, ，When longing calls。哦，若思念变思念，若思念变思念，《璀璨冒险人》，我也渺小爱你，《和光同存》。不是和光同尘哦，和光同春。<笑>你们想要哪一首 ？I could just. Which one do you want? I kind of want to go <laughs> off camera and let Sarah just take it from here. You just keep going, <laughs> keep doing your thing. <laughs> Now I need you to react and give your professional spiels. <laughs> We, yeah, we've been We reacting. We love what、spiels. you're doing. <laughs> okay, well they are. They're saying brilliant adventure. That seems to be the winner、um, so far. Out of the four, yep. Wait, I lost my. But we have other other songs too that they are also. Yeah, that's in, fine. The ones that can, we give you, like Sarah, can、mm-hmm. I give you this task? Can you? Because we, I think we can put up to five. How many does it let us do? Only four. Can you, from based on their suggestions, can you come up with the next four to put in the next poll, maybe? And we can include. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> 四大名著 everyone is like they want that song. 四大名著 is the four classic songs. I don't know how to classic- spell that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it in English. The four, the four famous or four classic、uh, novels of、uh, mm. or the Chinese novel, the seventh one, the seventh one I sent you, the four great classic Chinese novels. That one. And also,、right. baby, baby, I still not. I don't know how to say that. Baby, something that Chinese and Russian song, and you are ruthless. These three are very popular in the chat. Beautiful.、Uh, so here's what we do. Brilliant we'll, adventure. We'll do brilliant adventure right now. That's what you voted on, and then、mm-hmm. we can look at. You said you are youth, ruthless, baby, and the four、okay. great classics. So we can look at those in the next poll. I don't know how many we can get to, but okay. Okay. let's go、Perfect. into this one. All right. Yes. Here the- and shout out to our th- our throglodyte Art Nixon,、uh, who I'd like to say nobody nobody is as winsome or handsome as you, my friend. There's only、nobody. one throglodyte, by the way. The rest of us are thronlies. There's only one throglodyte. <laughs> our Art coined the phrase throglo- throglodyte. Throglodyte. Thro- throglodyte. Yeah, I think that's it. Two thousand four hundred forty-six. We might break twenty-five hundred, y'all. Woohoo! If you're not、Let's、here, do it. Come over yonder to the Throga channel and watch. God, that just, just didn't work. Sarah, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for my friend. He's. <laughs> It's okay. Just... I love you guys. This is fun.、Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. But there's, there's there's no end to that thought. <laughs> it's a New Year's concert. Twenty twenty three. Yes.
This has interesting pop layers mixed in with it, but like like rhythmically, it almost has what what I would call more of like a, like a pop rhythm to it, like th- that conversational American pop. You're not agreeing. I can tell in your eyes. You're like, what is Johnny? What is Richard thinking? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Are you paying like the attention? Phrasing, maybe like, <laughs> a little bit more of a rapid phrasing. I get it. Yes. No, it it has like the yeah the phrasing that's there. It doesn't sound like yeah. the, the melodic connected in a lot of the other pieces that we're having. Just mm-hmm. in in some like parts of the song, which I found interesting because it gives like mm-hmm. he's got like that breathy conversational quality. Um, it's not, you know, pop hip hop talky by any means, but it just has like, I that get what phrasing you're saying. quality. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Back me up. There's people I'm watching. <laughs> You're Yeah. Now he's approaching it more with a clear tone at this this point in the song, which has mm-hmm. reflects a little bit more towards his speaking voice. So when he's speaking, he's got this I mean there's this gentleness, right, that just kind of exudes from his personality. But the tone mm-hmm. of his speaking range it sits a little bit higher than like like my voice ranges. Just for example, here or mine, <laughs> definitely more than yours. But with the more impact, more air pressure coming underneath the folds, right around his speaking range of notes, the the prosody of his speaking comes through in a very clean way here but it's still not operatic it's not the bel canto style it's not like straight up pop it's just again just a little bit of a charlieism in its own like little cross section of these different sounds that we typically hear from him it feels very natural in this part just jumping out at me sorry i'm just nerding out okay i got you back What's that? The 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 stage design that that image that he has behind him that kind of like spherical yeah ball of light I I like to think that that's where he was forged from he he just came from this he just magically appeared from this <laughs> magical that's quite possible ball of light sir I, I see true. I see over in the the chat it looks like uh, people are requesting is a different version of this song as well did were yeah you so they're that saying that. Yeah, there's, so they're saying there's a better version for sound-wise and also performance-wise because this version, um, 
is live. There's no, you know, adjustment to his voice. And then also he just, uh, he just danced in the previous song. So he's a little bit breathy. A little, little winded. When he sings this. Yeah. A little winded. Yes. Okay. You can so, hear that a little bit. Um, but you know, yeah. there's something that we do on this channel, which is we listen to y'all. So let's finish this and let's go check that one out. We could do that. Just hear the song twice. Awesome. Here we go. Friends. <laughs> 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 Beautiful. All right, let's see if I can find this other one you guys are talking about real quick. Okay. So, concerto. Oh, that's a different song. That's a, oh, it's a, a different song? song. Yeah, that's a different song. They're saying the TME, TMA, TM, TMEA, yeah. Uh huh. The TMEA Dolson 2023. Dolson? Is that what you said? Oh, Zhao Shen, sorry. Zhao Shen. Uh huh. This one, maybe? Yeah. Let's see this this second one yeah this one second this one. one here oh, oh no that's the no that's the this is recorded by the fans Ooh, this one looks good what's happening here <laughs> <laughs> let's check it out Let, let's we watch 2500 by the way Oh, really? 2500. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Woo -hoo, high five. Yeah. All right, what about this one? Does this one look Sarah, right? It's got to be you, Sarah, because this is, this is a record. It's not us. <laughs> it has to be you. Come on. <laughs> Does this look right? I think this is the one. Yeah. Is that the official? Let's see. I don't know. It's on Yvonne Wu's page? No, this isn't the mm. official one. We can... We're trying to find it. Keen. Comment section. So tell me when Johnny that's a great song. All right, so how about Sarah sings too? Sarah, you sing. Pass the mic. A little bit. Nah. <laughs> that Charlie okay. sings. Do, so do we have um? Do we have an answer, or we'll just move on to something else? Then we can always circle back to the song. I have no problem with that too. Okay. I'm thinking. I think we're going to do that just because that way we're not just stuck on this okay so yeah. let's do this i'm gonna make another quick did you say the four great classics that was a big one that was being asked for yes and then i'll make so a little quick. little story about this song the four great classic it's obviously four different novels and then there's four four different songs and there's also four different docent in here Oh, okay. Well, we can't we, we can't get enough of Charlie, so that that shouldn't be a problem. All right. And then, what is the concerto por un voix that everybody's talking about as well? What is that one? That's a different. That's a different song. That's um. No, I know classic. that, but that's a yeah a more classic one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna include that in a poll. So we'll do one more after this as well, and that way you guys can choose amongst yourselves. All right, here we go.
Thank you again for all the super chats coming in. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to not mention you. But we love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so cold and heartless. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Oh. oh, I love that. Let the teleportation begin. I know, seriously. And winsome. She reminds me of the uh what was it, Dimash song where there's Dimash. Three, three of him or end up being Five four of, of him. Like L L it was in yeah, Spanish. Four, four, yeah. But it's like no one can sing as well with Charlie as Charlie. <laughs> it's like that statement we had with Dimash as well. It's like because I mean obviously it's kinda like when you get like the siblings singing together, they got like this like the vibratos and everything just sync in such a unique way. So to hear him layered in with him is just super cool. It's just so clean. But here, it's it's the distinction between the two Charlies at this point is just amazing because you've got the warmer yeah. overtones. It's like the, the throat's dilated a little bit in the primarily the uh, laryngeal and oral pharynx. So it's just a little more space. It's allowing a little more warmer overtones to even exist. Elamore and T. Thank you, Art. And that in, in, the, in the second, uh, it's the second Charlie, if you will has that warmth <laughs> there not so it's not just lower notes it is the overtones the additional tones being casted and expanded upon that gives the distinction that i just he does yeah because so actually the, brilliantly the notes aren't that low actually because it's that's like a middle c uh, uh, but it sounds like it's an octave it, under it sounds lower that's i had to check and i'm like wait is that <laughs> is that c4 or is that c3 um and also by the way, whoever told him that, whoever said that if he was a female singer, he would just be an average female singer, that is, <laughs> that's just horse shit, is what it is. Shh, <laughs> Sorry. Look at your tongue. I had to, I had, it needed to be said. I mean, you're not wrong. Said. Yeah, obviously, like we talked about, he is, he is his own entity, and it goes, it transcends, you know, gender, but... Even if he was in the, the female category, he would still be an amazing female singer, one of the best. He I just, know. If he was so female, they'd be like, oh, you know, you're a really good female singer, but, you know, you just sound like an average male. <laughs> I mean, it's just, they, they, they just wouldn't be able to like, throw win. him into the same thing. You just can't win, man. Uh, Poor shit. Hey! <laughs>
Yeah. My my brain doesn't accept. <laughs> What I'm seeing and hearing. It's like, no, this is all a lie. <laughs> None of this can oh, be true. Oh, wait, I'll tell you. Hear this in life. This is crazy. Your jaw is going to drop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More. <laughs> it's... Well, that's the thing, is that he goes, like, I forgot that he can do those voices. Like, those really childlike, you know, like, sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Because we can listen to song after song of, of his just doing the more of the, the the traditional opera or a little cross into the pop style almost like a broadway-esque uh delivery and then you throw in this and it's just like it's just the yeah. my brain hurts <laughs> well like i said that's that we, that that was our first introduction to him was those types know, of we songs like... where it was just you know and then it, it was cool to actually like stray away from that and and sort of take the foray into like okay this is more of his natural singing voice proper singing voice and you know and also singing these amazing songs where it's like he's serving the song and he's not like trying to, right. to do all the acrobatic stuff he's just stuff. not throwing it but in for the sake of yeah yeah be because he can and even if that was all he could do was you know like those those gimmicky like things like he would have a, an amazing career but the fact that he's also just this it's like just... true artist as well but to come back to it, it's like fun it's, it's i know so cool. and i feel like this just brings out you can see in his smile just even way before we even saw his face the way he jumped on the stage it's just like all right yeah. it's play time you know what i mean it's like he he gets to like travel back to his four-year-old version and play you know him, yeah so yeah. Itself. oh i love it all right let's keep going here i'm gonna back it up to when yep. uh four-year-old charlie shows up <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what to call him i know <laughs> Baby Charlie. Baby Charlie. <laughs> I didn't read any of the lyrics. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what the song's okay. about. I, I mean, it I don't want to say matter. I don't care. I do, but more in like a third or fourth listen. Because right now I'm just like, I'm just so happy hearing. <laughs> just, just taking it in. Yeah, there's just so oh much God. to absorb. And the fourth one that came in, I said rock because there's like elements of like, you know, edge and imbalance, things like that. Purposeful. Mm. But just the play into the the falsetto skipping head voice where the, the folds actually separate a little bit and there's right back into this like this warm tone and then that that more almost a belted 
um, sound at the end there, just super strong. I want to hear that ending again. <laughs> Oh. Get it, Charlie. Oh, you are so good. Get it, get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love yeah. it. Like, like you said, who's the, who's the only one that can keep up with Charlie? And the answer is Charlie. It's like that that office, no. the office episode where Dw- uh, Dwight becomes the regional manager, and then he hires an assistant regional manager, and he hires himself to be his own assistant regional <laughs> assistant. <laughs> He's like, yes, I need somebody I can trust. All right, I'm going to make another poll real quick. This is the oh, sun in that. my face. <laughs> the sun Just came one out eyeball. for me. <laughs> Richard, can't you Good do something morning. about that? Can't you, can't you edit know. that out? My blind is closed <laughs> through the peak. I Anyways. Don't think it is. <laughs> All right, Just so give it some time. in the poll, I'm putting uh, concerto, and I guess it's concerto por uni voice. I don't know the whole thing. I'm just putting concerto. Um, the other one I'm putting in here is baby. So that one was like. Uh, that's a Russian Baby one? That's good done, yeah. I'm just going to have Sarah sing. I know. Uh, nah. And then... You Are Ruthless was another one. All right, so we're going to put these three. So, cons- Concerto, Baby, You Are Ruthless... And, and so we only have this is our last one before we do Mirage because we do have unfortunately a time limit. Um, you are ruthless is Suan Hen. FYI. It is what? I'm I'm translating it into the Chinese title just so they know what you are ruthless. I don't know is. why you couldn't just told me that in Chinese. <laughs> Sunny <laughs> Han. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> so entertaining. Well, we're almost at twenty eight hundred. Holy cow! You guys That's are amazing. amazing. All right, so poll is up. We got one more before Mirage. And by the way, there is so many more songs to get to. And and just a, a quick side thank you to Sarah again and your amazing team in the North American uh, Joshen fan club yeah. for sending us links and organizing today helping us organize ourselves and there's so many more songs to get to so this is part two of reaction wednesday for joe shen no one says there can't be a part three so we'll we'll Let's happily circle back yeah no no worries there so obviously we can't get to every song today yeah yeah it's too many also <laughs> thank you too many M- mikai uh catwalk uh, Jay Lee and someone, <laughs> man, someone is just coming through. Someone's killing it. <laughs> for your, co- and, thank you guys for your coffees, and thank you for the super chats as well as always. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I think Concerto is clearly the winner. Is that what we're seeing here? Oh, so Sarah, baby's your pretty light close. Is so these huh? are three popular songs for sure. <laughs> your light has vanished. Because I I adjusted my angle. <laughs> the oh, there it is. is. There it is. It's still there. All right. Still Must be nice to be from a place where there's sun. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't have sun. I live in where Rochester, uh, upstate New York. Yeah, the Rochester New Buffalo York. area is gets very dark. Yeah. So we he we were both from upstate New York. He moved to to Florida. You move first. (laughs) You can go to Times Square. There's a big screen. Uh, It's only six and a half hour drive (laughs) for you, but that can happen. (laughs) New York is big. All right, so I'm looking up uh, Concerto. That is the winner. Let's see if I can find it here real quick. Sorry, I'm taking you off screen for a second here. If you guys can make sure I've got the right one. Um... Is this the one right up top? No, that's 1995, and that's not Charlie, so we're going to move on. Um, this one, live in Australia, is that right? It's got a million views. I'm guessing this... Wait, that's not Charlie. That's not Charlie. I only want to see Charlie. I'm typing Charlie. Sure, send. Let's see. That's... I did not search well. 
uh, this one here? Or is it this one here? That is... Maybe that one. This one here, you think, and guys? Charlie is in New York, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in New York right now. Is this the correct one? I see a no, but I asked multiple questions, and I don't know what the no is to. Oh, and I also need to scroll down. Let's check it out. What do we think? Is this correct? Oh, the fan I'm record sure. is the version that you want? Fan so, record? this one here? Is this the one we're looking for? Give you guys a second. Now, this is a song. Like, that no. we, we know there's <laughs> lots. Of, well, there's lots of other songs, obviously, that we'll get to in the future. But today, we got this one, and we and then we're doing Mirage after this. And that'll be it for today, mm -hmm. unfortunately. But we're already over two hours. Eh. Is, is this... <laughs> Oh, and we're going to do the intro. Thank you. Yes. Um, Sarah hooked us up with that as well. Do you know why yeah. Sarah sent us that? Because she's our friend? <laughs> you know, anyone who hasn't actually seen Labyrinth oh is like, gosh, really Richard. confused. <laughs> Sarah, friend. Friend? Can, can you control rocks when you sing? <laughs> I try, but I can't. <laughs> All right, looks Not as like magical this. as Charlie. <laughs> All right, looks like we have the right one. We're going to go with this. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Yep. Very operatic delivery there. with the vibrato in those moments.
You know what I love is that you know typically when you hear like this operatic you know soprano part, it's somebody in a very stoic position delivering a line. And Charlie's like, yeah, Wee! It's, it's just, just like doing it you know, off like, the cuff, like yeah. just waving like the queen going in a circle and just like singing these crazy vibrato in-depth delivery just projecting everything perfect the casualness of it is just beautiful yeah and normally somebody that can do that so easily would just piss me off but <laughs> i can't be mad at him you know you can't be i can't be mad at him you can't, you can't. by the way uh total side note i saw somebody just asked for uh, a different artist uh request um ado uh unravel live next tuesday tune in for that we got you on that Ooh. One. Hmm. I love our travels. Not average female sound, not average male sound, not an average human sound. <laughs> I mean, that's just just so well executed. Obviously, people have trained for, I mean, it's usually at least a 10 year window. I think they say 15 for most operatic tones to be developed, you know, to, to highlight the fourth overtone. <laughs> You're over there dodging the sun. I know that sun is just <laughs> killing me. <laughs> Like, but but to be able to it. highlight the That's fourth sad. overtone, the singer's overtone in operatic style throughout your range or like a section of range, in this case, soprano, uh, you know, that's usually a specific dedicated art. And he's doing this among many versions of his voice. And, and that's that's why he just stands out so much in that respect. Incredible. <sighs> Oh, yeah, that was his awesome. voice just soars. I, I love I love those live settings too, when you can really get like the room sound, and just because you know there's just certain voices that just like fill up a room like no other. Oh man, yeah. so angelic, it, oh, angelic for yeah. sure. All right, so the the last two videos we're gonna do. I appreciate the request coming in. We do. It's not that we're ignoring you, but we're ignoring you because we're <laughs> we're we're close to being out of time. Uh, it's not because we don't want to. We we'll come back to do more Charlie. So so no, we were, no worries. We there. will be back for sure. Many for times. sure. We promise. Um. So his new album just dropped, like yesterday, <laughs> two days ago, was it? Oops. <laughs> well. Not the awesome. whole album yet. Oh, okay. The MV just dropped. Okay. The actual official MV for Mirage just dropped, but there's still like 10 more songs coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> there's total okay. 12, 12 songs in the album. We only have intro and Mirage right now. Okay. And what, in intro, is it like, that's like the prologue for the album, essentially? Is that what we're thinking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything to set up for this? It's only 33 seconds long. Yes. Well... So this album is the name of the album in English. It's play on words uh, for the word reflexive pronoun, like myself, yourself, themselves, like, you know, the pronoun. And so because in Chinese, the phrase is uh, the second word is shen. So it's the same sound as zhou shen, right? Okay. So then, so essentially, uh, long story short, it's kind of like shen self. Is that you know, like myself, yourself, like shen okay. self? So talk okay. about himself mm -hmm. often. So um, this album has 12 songs and he's saying that there's like 12 different sides of him that he's going to present in this album. It's something that people haven't are not familiar with. And so we're all very excited. We can't wait to see already like the first song, like Mirage, it's already blown everyone away. It's like, damn, okay. <laughs> like MV is like a whole movie. <laughs> and um, the I guess like the meaning behind the song is just very in depth as well. And there's just so many layers to it, like, like the lyrics and the music and how it's produced and mixed and, you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And so it's awesome. Very cool. All right. So, so let's check it. out the intro first and get kind of a, a taste to what he's setting up on his album. Let me just pull that up real quick. Yes. 
All right, let's see what we got going on here. This is cool. This is what I was expecting already. No. Oh, that's, that's torture why would they only give 30 seconds of this <laughs> oh my gosh you have no idea like once this was out the 30 some second video was out all the fans were like trying to decode every single detail every second i'm uh, sure <laughs> it's easy to want to do yeah to just like fully yeah. embrace yeah. the whole thing oh my that's goodness so yeah there's a lot of stuff going on in that video i like that vibe yeah, like it's just cool. like we're and yeah. now we're going in this direction. It's just like another yeah. personality just kind of come out. You said so 12 songs, 12 different like versions of him or something you said, something that kind of thing. Yeah. So at the last frame of that video, uh, I don't know if you remember, there's like 12 different heads. Kind of yes. like a yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, OK. So, so f- it's kind of 12 different. There's like uh, like lady. There's like a bald person there's like a robot there's like a kid or there's like different type of people in that 12 silhouettes so we're guessing that's it's the 12 charlie. songs that <laughs> yeah but it's all charlie different sides of him wild so, oh that is interesting yeah. okay so here is Sweet. the video and you put uh you and your team put something together with uh english subtitles correct um yes. i think we have that let me make sure yeah the framing's a little bit different, so let me make sure I can get that on view. Hello, Mirage. All right, so. <laughs> you able to see that, Johnny? And I've got it set so you can see the English at the bottom there. It's a little yeah, small. Yeah, got but... it. It's, yeah, kind of right, small, but. It. All right, here we go. I love the production on this so far. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's utilizing synth mixed with. Sarah, do you, do we know if he uh, wrote this or like in to what degree that that he's credited for this song? Do you know? Um, well, there's the of course there's a team um, who wrote the lyrics, which is the same person who wrote the lyrics for the Lonely Whale, and okay. then the producer Chen Lei is also the same one that um, wrote Human Is. I know I think you reacted to that song before. That's, yeah, um, that sounds and, familiar, but... Yeah, so that's the producer. But, okay. um, like, the main concept and everything, it's um, from Joseon and his team. Okay, but, yeah, I was just curious, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm, All the I'm, voices are from him, too. Well, All yeah. the voices you hear, yeah. Even the synth sounds in the production, none of it sounds like just out of the box, because there's, like, 
a billion different synth sounds that you can like literally just purchase and plugins, things like that. They all feel just a little new. Like something's just a little raw. Something's a little bit like there's, just there's a snap. modern like yeah. cutting edge. I like it. I love this so far. It's yes, cool. and I'm I'm taking yeah. in. I'm doing my best to take in the lyrics. Uh, this is obviously there's a reason why people watch the same video many times over because there's going to be so much to take in visually, sonically, and then and then the depth of the lyrics. I'm grabbing what I can, um, but I just, I just love his voice in the settings. Very unexpected. It works so well. Yeah, it works so right. well. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me back up just a little bit and keep going here. Thank you, Irene, as well. Yes, thank you. And Vivian in the super chat. Love that line. One door being music this is the soundtrack matrix should have had it just has i the, mean the, this 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 obviously yeah, did a great job in that score but but i'm just saying like the 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 challenge of the artificial intelligence in feeling and the human connection is just like he's challenging the the aspect of what is human in this lyrically and just in, and of course with his voice is such a perfect top line for that kind of topic it really as a whole. is yeah. yeah just ex reaching beyond the the, the labels and, and the boundaries that we create in our societies um yeah and, no, I, I know if i were to write a song for him i would this would be like the way i'd go with it because he obviously he sounds amazing and everything he does but right. i would just be like let's go for like a movie soundtrack thing because he just has that otherworldly voice so let's Let's, let's utilize that. <laughs> it's it's like the yeah. Oh, just wild. I mean, this is a whole movie. Like Sarah was yeah. saying.
love that's missing. <laughs> More. <laughs> do you guys I want, want to? Do you guys, do you guys want to listen to just a song? If you feel like the MV is a little bit too distracting. If the, I know Johnny has to go. He's a studio. Session. I do have to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I can would, you though. send us a link to that though? I mean, I want it. We want to hear it regardless. Yeah, um, it's in the email I sent you actually. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, we'll have yeah. to go back and and watch that. I know Johnny has a, a session coming up. I mean, it's not more important than Joe Shen, but whatever. Of, um, of course, of course. You know what? I can just continue to host with my new friend. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> Bye. 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 Continue. Nice you. <laughs> oh my goodness! This I was I don't know I I wasn't I didn't have a plan to expect something, but this just went into a whole new space and time musically with his voice i wasn't expecting it to be this like kind of cutting edge right just production and yeah. everything really edgy yeah yeah just when you think you have him pinned down he just continues to surprise and apparently there's 11 more versions to come on this album <laughs> is this the only uh, music video right now that's out for this album yes yeah it is the only okay. full song that's released right now from the album this is the only one amazing so far okay yeah so well they're incredible I am going to, right after this, I'm going to take care of subtitles for you all. Uh, so I'll get them processed, put up links to all the original videos. Please always go back and watch the original videos as well, especially since we have to do the copyright thing. You have to have the transparency. Um, and I'm going to go back and listen to these songs as well. But I'm just going to look at you, Sarah. I see Johnny enough. So that'll be, it'll, it'll make said, for better view. Art just said I've, I've been canceled. <laughs> you've been, you've no, been first my daughter you. aurora kicks you off well, no, she kicked me off too so you know what maybe i'll just yeah, have aurora and sarah a, they, they could do their own need show. A background music <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're still allowed to be in the background <laughs> thanks thank guys. you for thank all you. of the amazing <laughs> super chats um chloe and kismet and vivian and elisa and daisy and everybody if i forgot your name please i apologize we always go back and um respond to them as well so we we appreciate you we love you all thank you for joining we got uh, sarah, you guys are amazing thank you you're awesome please we come back sarah. to our you. show we would love to have you again heart love hugs I, from I, I, <laughs> <laughs> from <laughs> Charlie, thank you for um, having me. You're so very much. welcome. Oh, you're thank, so fun. Thank you to I would Alice love to and... be on this again if yes. you want me back. Yes, absolutely. I'll absolutely. be your Chinese girl to translate everything for you. <laughs> we, we we need the balance here anyway, so it's best. <laughs> yes. Have yes. an amazing day, everybody. We love you. Thank you for joining us. Please come back next Reaction Wednesday with Lara Fabian. We're diving deep, and we have a special guest for that one as well. Have an amazing day. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye. Sarah Fred.